In the Florida Keys, News Nation given rare access to tag along with Border Patrol agents on a nonstop mission that has recently become even more taxing. Absolutely, it's been very challenging for the agents that work here. A recent increase in migrant landings in Florida means Border Patrol agents are constantly on the lookout. And there are um, crocodiles back here. They showed us some of the busiest areas. This is Coco Plum Beach here in Marathon. This is a, a public beach here where we've encountered right over here. We've seen several migrant landings. And spots where makeshift boats still line the shores. There were 19 Cuban migrants from Matanzas, Cuba. Clothes and shoes left behind in this boat, floating in water and oil from the boat's motor. Because a lot of the migrants will actually have injuries like related to like chemical burns and spills or you know from the oil. On the same beach just steps away. Yeah, that looks like another one right down there. How long has this one been sitting here? Uh, this one's been here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Also keeping my approximately 20 migrants on board this boat. Getting rid of these boats is a process. One the county told News Nation has cost tens of thousands of dollars. They're not functional. You can't drive them to a boat ramp and put it on a trailer. So essentially they have to be disposed of. Border Patrol says migrant encounters in its Miami sector are up 400% from last year. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has been forced to send extra resources to the Florida Keys. This has not been an overnight uh, surge. This has been relatively ongoing for some time. As more migrants attempt the dangerous and sometimes deadly journey to Florida. One particular story reference that we were involved in here recently within the last month is a, um, a group of Cuban migrants. One of the, the individuals on board was a one-year-old infant. The one-year-old died at sea, and then she ended up having to release the baby at sea. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.